Hi everyone, today we will be talking about singleton design pattern. So without further ado, let's get started. Most common way of categorizing design patterns is by usage of those patterns. And it is divided into three main categories. Creational, structural and behavioral. Singleton belongs to creational design patterns. One of the most frequently asked questions related to design patterns at any programming interview is to explain the singleton pattern. It is one of the simplest, if not the simplest, design pattern. However, it comes with certain implementation concerns that often come up as follow-up questions. Its purpose is to make sure that only one object of a class is being created in the whole application, which is where the name singleton comes from. Runtime from java.lang and desktop from java.awt are well-known Java classes implemented as singletons. In real-world apps, we use singleton for caches, loggers, and database connections. Here is a graph demonstrating how singleton can be used in real-world scenario, where we have multiple observatoriums and a single sky that has a list of stars or their stars names. By making sky a singleton class, all observatoriums will share only one instance of the sky class. After talking about the usage of singleton design pattern with your interviewer, one of the most common follow-up questions is how you would implement it. We have displayed one way of making class a singleton. We have implemented previously mentioned sky class. First thing to notice is that we have a private static variable called instance of type sky. Next thing is making the constructor of sky class private so that nobody can instantiate objects outside of the sky class. Last important part is adding the public static getter of that instance variable so that it can be accessed outside. We have chosen to lazily initialize instance variable in this getter method, but we could have also initialized it in constructor, static block, or when defining it. All of these options are valid. However, by using the lazy initialization, you optimize your application for the situation when no one actually calls that getter method. It is also important to say that the mentioned getter method has to be synchronized otherwise it could happen that more than one thread is calling it and thus creating multiple objects of the sky class which beats the sole purpose of this design pattern thanks for watching this video if you liked it and you would like to see more content of this type please click the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell if you have any questions Post them in the comment section below and we will try to respond as soon as possible. Till next time, goodbye.